All right, so uh, I wanted to make a video on this because I think uh, this will be a game changer, okay? The new Tarmiel coming tomorrow for GP is probably going to be a complete overhaul in PvP. Like, legitimately, that's just how big this grace is. They, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> the, the fact that the grace is so long... You see on screen, the, the grace is incredibly long. Should tell you this is a bad idea. Because when we're talking about characters passive, let's let's open DN here. DN has a long passive, right? That's fine. A grace can be given to any character in addition to their passive. And this is I, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. This, this could be terrible for PvP, but. If you missed out on my initial video talking about the, the patch notes, Neil Tarmiel, uh, we're not going to talk about him specifically, just the grace, because that's just how <laughs> stupid this is. When the hero is attacked by an enemy on the enemy's turn, it recovers 30% of the damage taken. Now, this alone, the dot, that's it, could have been the grace. Honestly, if this was the grace, I would have still gone, huh, that's a pretty good grace. It's sort of like the other Tarmiel, and it's going to be very, very useful for a lot of characters, right? But no, they went further. <laughs> and if the hero receives two or more attacks from the same enemy in the same turn, so exactly like Emilia works, where if someone attacks Emilia twice, they get frozen, right? But for him, it's um, if they get, if they get attacked twice nullify the the effect of all skills including ultimate move for that enemy for two turns so they get a freaking chandler debuff right where it it blocks all skill effects the you know the the god awful debuff that you get when you get ulted by a 6-6 six, six margaret that lasts for two turns yeah now if you attack someone that has this grace twice in a turn, you're gonna have that. It's like, if this was on Tarmiel, so, if Tarmiel, his passive was, when the hero recovers HP from his grace, increases basic stats of all allies by 6%, and then he had this, right? Tarmiel would have been super powerful. They didn't have to put it on his grace, because it's like, you know, he, he has this. It, the, uh, the grace is part of his passive, right? He's always going to have the grace. So they could have just put this on his passive. <laughs> but no, this will be in every unit you can want to have it on. Obviously, only one character per team. But think about this. This completely changes how the, the game works. They literally just dropped Elaine, which was a mega buff for King. Elaine plus King is a legitimate meta team. It's a, it's a stupid, really good team. That is completely unviable now. Now, again, it's not like, the, like King is going to get killed when he uses two cards, right? But getting disabled is... Oh, it's awful. Your character gets so weak. Especially for a character like King that really relies on like the triple crit chance. They literally just dropped a unit to help this guy. Now you're either going to have to be running like cleanse to be dealing with this. Or, I don't know, stop using AoE units. That's, that's basically what's going to happen. And uh, this is going to be big for a lot of characters. Like, I can already tell right here, DN. DN is going to get a massive amp from this. You're probably going to be seeing more DNs on PvP. See, one thing is obviously the character is new. So a lot of people are not going to have him for a little while because his banner sucks, right? And we're, we've been edging on getting this uh, collab with Slime and, and, you know, a Holy War is coming either in two weeks or Slime. It's like, we've been edging on getting a big banner for quite some time now, right? And people have been just waiting for that. And I kind of doubt that a lot of people are going to blow their jams on this character, especially because the character they just released, it, it, her, is honestly a must-have. Because not only they dropped this character, they dropped the Holy Relic for him as well, 
which is actually a pretty good Holy Relic. He gets Green Droll's passive. So th this guy has four passives, by the way, because I consider this to be a passive. The the, the damage taken part, this is this, this is a passive, right? This this is a whole ability, right? This is actually really good, <laughs> really good. And again, DN, I've been like, you know, if you've watched my videos, you know, I complain all the time that the end doesn't fulfill the role she's meant to be, which is a tank. She is a taunt unit. But now that she heals the damage she takes, she will be much better. And, and again, if they do you want to attack the end twice, guess what? You're going to get disabled, right? So, so, so oh my god. <laughs> That's so stupid. Why? Um... What was I talking about again? I'm just, I'm just actually like flabbergasted. I actually thought it was a good idea. Um, yeah, this character just came out, which is like a must have. They've been pumping Deer Relic, Deer Relic, Deer Relic. They are dropping four Deer Relics with this update. Four. And one of them is for Disarmia. So it's like, <laughs> this is a character you want to have. They've been, uh, th this one. <laughs> and she just came out on Global, so. I I'm assuming a lot of people are not going to summon for Disarmia because of that but it's not like he's gonna be difficult again he's just a regular character he's not festival he's not he's not super exclusive or anything so when he comes back on festival banners especially right because you see like with um these characters they, they pop in on festival banners and stuff like that um people are gonna start pulling him and then he's gonna they're gonna start using him and pvp is gonna be horrible it's gonna be horrible all the time, you're going to be thinking, can I double attack this character? Nope, I can't, because uh, he has the Tarmiel, uh, the Tarmiel Grace. It's going to be horrible. Again, DNs are going to be massive on PvP right now. I, I think that this character gets the most out of here. The there are characters I, um, I can think of that, you know, are going to be helped by this. I think that... <laughs> oh, man, actually... Oh, my God... Oh my god, I'm actually- I'm scrolling because I don't even want to say his name. Ah, uh, he gets a massive buff from this. Because you want to take down Terry in the first turn. When you face a Bon, then all the worst characters, all the most annoying characters in the game are going to get an M from this. Like, every single one. Because you want to take them down the first turn. Right, any character that you can think of that you want to take down the first turn, if the if the <laughs> the person running starts using this, yeah, Terry, oh, I shouldn't even be giving people ideas. Like, te, te, every Bond team you face, like a whale Bond team, is gonna have Terry with his, this this. Like, I don't see why you wouldn't. Terry is the main character in the Bond team, and and then if he has like a perpetual heal of any time he takes damage. And then if you attack him twice, he's, not, he's gonna counter you twice, and you're gonna get disabled. It's like, <laughs> could it be worse? <laughs> could, could this? Oh my god! Oh, I uh, this is this is not gonna be fun. I'm trying to think of like other units, like but ch from top of my head, these are the two characters I think who have the most: Terry and DN. Especially Dian. Dian needed this. Uh, I think Dian. There's a really welcome buff for Dian. But God, not Terry. <laughs> God damn Terry. Oh man. PvP is gonna be like unplayable. Like actually, uh, I, I'm like I'm, I'm genuinely I'm I'm very I'm very serious. Like, oh, you, you should use on Kyo as well. Kyo is the character you want to take down the first turn. So you put it on Kyo, and then. Uh, all of a sudden, he's a much more difficult person to deal with. This, this is not going to be fun. This is... Uh, I don't know what they're thinking. I, I actually... I'm, I don't even know, like... I don't know. This is terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Horrible idea. And I mean, Tarmiel is also a good unit. They're like, I'm, I'm talking only about his grace. But let's not forget that he has the grace, right? Tarmiel himself is a really good unit as well. Um, and he's gonna get the relic from day one. I I, I want to see his stats. I, I wish they would show the stats because he has flood. If he has like very like damaging stats, if he has like cr super high crit chance and crit damage, he's gonna be like a monster DPS with the the damage increase buff card plus his passive. 
And a super good tank, because he's going to be healing every time he gets hit. Ah, uh, good. <laughs> PvP is going to be actually unplayable. Like, <laughs> I'm not, like, this is actually, like, the worst thing they actually could have think of. Because, again, like, Emilia is bad. Like, Emilia is bad to deal with, right? Oh, she's a good unit. I'm saying, like, bad, like, she's terrible to deal with. She's hor- When you see Emilia, you feel discomfort, right? But it's one unit, right? This is every unit. Except, like, other characters that already have graces, right? But, like, you can put this on basically every unit in the game. I don't know, man. They should rethink this. They actually should reconsider this before it, it, it releases in-game, because this is... This is actually going to make PvP unplayable. 